Welcome to Texan Math. Today we're taking a look at item number 39 on the Algebra 1 end of course exam from 2013. Let's read the item. The number of ferry boat trips, F of C, needed to transport C cars in one day can be found using the function F of C equals C divided by 20. If there are no more than 5,000 cars transported by ferry boat daily, what is the range of the function for this situation? The answer choices are A, the set of all integers greater than or equal to 5,000, B, the set of all integers from 0 to 5,000, C, the set of all integers greater than or equal to 250, and D, the set of all integers from 0 to 250. So let's look at the situation and figure out what might have caused such trouble on this item. The students uh, did very poorly on this item. Only 34% of the students got it right. That means 66% of the students missed the item. And interestingly, uh, a majority of students, or a, a rather a plurality of students, chose answer B, uh, which was incorrect. The correct answer was D. So, let's look at the item, and first, let's see what it is we're looking for. It says here that we are looking for the range of the function. So, if we have a function, the range would be our output. So, I'm going to go ahead and label that little uh, statement, the range, as my output. The domain would be the input. Now, in this function, the domain would be the number of cars. So, we can input the number of cars, C, into the function. Now, the domain is represented by positive numbers, okay, or non-negative numbers, non-negative integers, because you couldn't have a negative number of cars. It's also represented by integers, meaning it can't be a fraction or a decimal, but like a whole car. So it could be zero cars, one car, two cars, and so on. If you look at each of the answer choices, you'll note that each one of them says integers. So that really doesn't help us narrow down the, the uh, solution. Let's take a look at this function f of c. It says the number of ferry boat trips needed to transport cars in one day can be found using this function. If there are no more than 5,000 cars transported by the ferry boat daily, what is the range of the function for this situation? Well, what I would like to know uh, to do this problem, and there's a variety of ways to do it, but what I'm going to do to work it is just reason through it because we can get the correct answer just by grasping what uh, this situation is talking about. If I know that the number of cars are going to be input into this function, then I already know that the lowest possible number of cars is zero. There can't be negative numbers of cars, and there could be zero cars transported. Theoretically, I don't know if that's really practical, but in mathematics, it's possible to have zero cars in this situation. So if I had zero cars put into this function, f of zero will equal zero divided by 20, which is zero cars. So the output for zero cars is zero ferry rides. Okay, so this is the number of ferry rides, or trips, I guess they called it trips. All right, so I know that my lowest value in my range is zero. Now, the highest value that I can put into the function would be the number, uh, the total number of cars, which is 5,000. And so I have uh, 5,000 divided by 20, which of course you can use your calculator here, but it's pretty easy to just calculate and get the 250 uh, without the calculator. I encourage you to use it though, if, you, if there's any chance you make an error. Alright, so 
if I put in 5,000 cars, the most I can get out of this function would have to be the 250. So if we look at all the answer choices, the first answer choice says the set of all integers greater than 5,000 will know the output is, has to be between 0 and 250. So I know that A is incorrect. Uh, for B, the set of all integers between 0 and 5,000, well actually that is the domain of the function. And this, by the way, was the most common answer. So it makes me think that students were uh, confusing domain and range. And they were actually finding the domain and not the range of the function, which is what it's asking for. So B is also incorrect. C says the set of all integers greater than or equal to 250. Well, no, the integers would be between 0 and 250. And then finally, the correct answer is the set of all integers from 0 to 250. So the correct answer in this situation would be answer choice D, the set of all integers from 0 to 250.